Exodus chapter 27. Now you shall make the altar of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide. The altar shall be square, and its height shall be three cubits. You shall make its horns on its four corners. Its horns shall be of one piece with it, and you shall overlay it with bronze. And you shall make its pails for removing its ashes, and its shovels, its basins, its forks, and its fire pans. You shall make all its utensils of bronze. You shall also make for it a grating, a netting of bronze. And on the netting you shall make four bronze rings at its four corners. And you shall put it under the ledge of the altar, so that the netting will reach halfway up the altar. You shall also make carrying poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with bronze. Its poles shall be inserted into the rings, so that the poles will be on the two sides of the altar when it is carried. You shall make it hollow with planks, as it was shown to you on the mountain, so shall they make it. Now you shall make the courtyard of the tabernacle. On the south side there shall be hangings for the courtyard of fine twisted linen, a hundred cubits long for one side, and its pillars shall be twenty, with their twenty bases of bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands shall be of silver. Likewise, for the north side in length, there shall be hangings a hundred cubits long, and its twenty pillars with their twenty bases of bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands shall be of silver. For the width of the courtyard on the west side shall be hangings of fifty cubits, with their ten pillars and their ten bases. The width of the courtyard on the east side shall be fifty cubits. The hangings for the one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits, with their three pillars and their three bases. And for the other side there shall be hangings of fifteen cubits, with their three pillars and their three bases. And for the gate of the courtyard there shall be a curtain of twenty cubits, of violet, purple, and scarlet material, and fine twisted linen, the work of a weaver, with their four pillars and their four bases. All the pillars around the courtyard shall be joined together with silver, with their hooks of silver and their bases of bronze. The length of the courtyard shall be a hundred cubits, and the width fifty throughout, and the height five cubits of fine twisted linen, and their bases of bronze. All the utensils of the tabernacle used in all its service, and all its pegs, and all the pegs of the courtyard shall be of bronze. And you shall command the sons of Israel that they bring you clear oil of beaten olives for the light, to make a lamp burn continually. In the tent of meeting, outside the veil which is before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall keep it in order from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a permanent statute throughout their generations for the sons of Israel.